so welcome back to this channel once again and i'm again here with uh, another interesting topic parameter passing in ile rpg with star no pass so uh, this is a very important topic uh, which i am going to uh, now uh, discuss in this video so one must uh, have a uh, uh, grasp the understanding on this because uh, this will be very useful and uh, this will be used in the programming as well and uh, let's discuss so why why we are using the star no pass okay so for example uh, just take an example uh, i i created one procedure proc1 say and i have few uh, parameter i want i am passing three parameters one two and three and i want that uh, sometime i pass only two parameter and sometime i pass three parameters okay so third parameter is the optional parameter optional parameter in this case so how how i can build the feature functionality of an optional parameter in ile program ile procedure so we can do that using this by star no pass okay so how we'll be doing that let's see so this is the no main module where i uh, defined one uh, sub procedure one which is a sub procedure there is no main procedure here and you can see this is the body of the sub procedure now as you can see uh, i have i'm passing four parameters right now so here i'm showing you what we cannot do okay what we cannot perform and what is wrong so currently i'm showing what is wrong we should not try that and if we try that we will be getting the error so for example um, here in this case you can see the third parameter is optional but the fourth parameter is not optional okay so the fourth parameter is not optional so if you call this proc call proc passing the parameter one and two and you are not passing the third parameter so if you are passing for example if you are trying to pass fourth parameter that means that read it as third parameter it won't treat that as a fourth parameter okay it will treat this as third parameter because you are using this star no pass so whenever whenever you are using the star no pass okay in your IE procedure so from the point you started using the no pass so other further uh, parameters must be of star no pass options star no pass okay so you cannot do this thing but if you try this this is possible okay if you if you if you're trying to do this thing so i'll be showing you what error you are facing okay just compile this module and you can see the CVRT 20 errors you are getting okay just showing you the errors if you look at the errors these are several to 20 errors so you can see options star no pass is missing for a parameter following an optional parameter so after an optional parameter all the parameters must be optional okay so this is the thing which one must know while using this options star no pass thing okay so just see this now what i'll be doing i'll be first uh, removing this so i'll be showing you the full uh, thing so what uh, we can achieve from the what we can do if we have what we'll be doing if we have two optional parameters so and let me show you so some one plus some so this is the example which i am uh, showing you this is sub procedure this is the optional parameters okay so in case if it is passed with uh, if it is passed with the uh, three parameters i'll be using the percent params keyword okay if percent params is greater than 2 okay then I'm doing this thing
percent params is greater than do, two means if we are passing more than two parameters means we are passing the optional parameter then we are performing we are summing the three numbers okay and if we are passing only two parameter in else case i'll be summing the two numbers only so this will uh, come inside this condition and then i'll be returning the sum so let's see so you can see the module is created so let me show you i'll be you compile it with I'm, I'm compiling it with star so so that i can debug this now i'll be creating the service program create srv pgm id pgm 13 id pgm 13 is the module and export from star all so now the service program is also created work obj id pgm 13 okay now we can see uh, the module and the service program object created now we will be calling this procedure from this program this is the i uh, we will be creating a ILE program of this ILE pgm 13a so this is num 3 so for example i am passing 15 from here so i need to define the same uh, data type uh, prototype here options star no pass okay so now what i'm doing i'm calling like this and i can call like this also so either i can pass two parameters or three parameters both are possible because the, the third parameter is optional if we pass third parameter then the syntax would be like this passing those three parameters if i pass only two parameters then the syntax would be like this okay now just uh, what i am doing i am compiling the module of this let's compile the module the module is created successfully and now create the program create pgm highly pgm 13a the module is highly pgm 13a and we will be binding the service program okay highly pgm 13a i'm showing you the demo with the binding of service program i can bind the module as well highly pgm 13 here that is also possible the, but the best approach is to bind the service program okay which i am showing you let me see what is the error okay there is no service program with ilpgm 13a that is 13 okay just program is created just do the svpgm ilpgm 13a okay so this is the module which is bound, binded to this and this is the service program so if I look at the service program, I can see the module and the procedure sub procedure one. Okay. So this information I can view from here. Now I'll be debugging this STDBG ILE PGM 13A. So I'll be setting the breakpoint on that program. I can debug the service program also by using this command. But there, at uh, in the service program option, I'll be mentioning the service program name, not in the program, uh, not the program name in the program options. So I'll be setting the breakpoint here. F6 still call ILE PGM 13A. Okay. Now this time I'm passing only two parameters. So just do shift F10. Yes, F10, F10. If percentile params is greater than two, so I am passing only two parameters right now. So if you look, 
num1 is 5 num2 is 10 and we won't get the num3 value here okay right now so press just press f10 so you will see you uh, didn't uh, the program didn't went to this condition because the parameters passed are only two so it will go to some part uh, else part where it will be summing only two parameters which are passed 15 and it will return the sum and display the sum okay it displays the sum now i'm passing with three parameters shift f10 so you can see that num3 is passed now Okay, which is 15 so it went to the if section because percentile params is greater than two condition met and now you can see that how beautifully this uh, um, you can say uh, no pass thing uh, works so you can use this function percentile params and star no pass so the combination of these two works very uh, well and you can manage all those uh, no pass or you can say optional parameters in your program and based on the pass passing parameters you can uh, code like that in your uh, sub procedures highly sub procedures so that's the thing which i want to show you it will return the sum sum now and the sum returned as 30 okay now the program ends so this was the case where i'm passing only one uh, um, you can say one optional parameter now i'll be passing two optional parameter so let me show you the same thing so i'll be showing you the same thing here only what i'll be doing just uh, just you can create another procedure out of this okay so that procedure will be called as uh, procedure 2 now i have already shown you that we must have to we have to have to keep the other further option uh, parameters after the optional parameter as optional so all the parameters comes after third parameter will be optional okay because the third parameter is an optional parameter so this parameter is also an optional now we have four uh, uh, parameters which are we are we are taking as input so we will be creating we are replicating the same procedure here sub procedure 2 sub procedure 2 it will take uh, four uh, parameters and the two parameters are optional we cannot do like this uh, for example the second parameter is optional or the other parameters are not optional so this cannot be possible so once the optional parameter is uh, you can say stated in a particular procedure or uh, made in this particular proce procedure so after that all the proceed all the further uh, parameters would must be optional okay now you can see num4 now num4 is also an optional parameter okay now how will i be handling that so either one can pass two parameter okay one, or one can pass uh, more than two parameter means three parameter or one can pass four parameter now the now three choices are there okay so what i'll be doing if percentile params is greater than three means if someone is passing four parameters calling this procedure with four parameters okay so the parameters would be passed as um, four so we'll be checking how many parameters are passed using percentile params opcode okay so num1 plus num2 plus num3 plus num4 okay so in case uh just to else if in case if parameters is greater than uh two then we are adding num1 plus num2 okay means three parameters are passed if four parameters are passed like then the functioning will be like this if th three parameters are passed then the functioning will be like this if two parameters are passed two parameters must be passed because that are not optional so if 
anyone is calling it will be calling that sub procedure to with the minimum parameters two okay he can uh, then call that uh, procedure sub procedure two with three parameters or four parameters depends upon his need is our need okay now this is a thing uh, which uh, which is uh, this is the logic which needs to be written here so we can handle we can either sum two three or four parameters and return the sum now i'll do i'll be com compiling this module just look what happened here work of chip oh sorry work job just look at the error the name or the indicator is the procedure name entry 721 is not valid okay so the error is F7 Okay, this one sub procedure 2 the name was not changed so let's compile this again start source now this uh, module is created successfully i'll be updating the service program so i'll be using at uh, this time i'll be using upds repm because the service program object is already created so i need pgm 13 i need pgm 13 okay these are all just the center now the service program is updated dsp srv pgm I need PGM 13. This is the module, and now it is showing two procedure procedures, okay, uh, which I I just added. The signature is also changed, so I need to update the program also. Also, I need to add some calling uh, the calling of sub procedure two in ILE PGM 13A. So what I'll be doing, I'll be adding one more uh, uh, variable so we're passing 20 here i'll be defining the prototype of the sub procedure 2 which is accepting four parameters out of that two are optional okay now this was the calling of sub procedure 1 now i'll be showing you the calling of sub procedure 2 I can do is I'll be calling this either with two parameters either with three parameters or with four parameters colon num four okay so I cannot skip the third parameter here if this is a, a you can say no pass if I am passing uh, the fourth parameter, if I want to pass the th fourth parameter, I need to pass the third parameter. This you need to understand that if I am passing the fourth parameter, which is optional, now you can say that the third parameter is also optional. If I don't want to pass that, then this is not possible in case of star no pass. For that purpose, we have uh, we have other thing. I'll be covering that thing in my next video. Okay how we can skip the third parameter and only pass the fourth parameters out of these two okay i'll be covering that in next video so i need to pass both the optional parameters if i want to pass the fourth parameter if i want to pass the third parameter only i can only pass third parameter and i can skip the next uh, optional parameters so this is the way how uh, stano pass uh, works 
okay so just um, okay sorry this is a procedure to just file just create the module of this probe probe source member okay the module is created i need to update the pgm upd pgm ile pgm 13a 13a ile pgm 13a the module and the service program which i'll be binding is ile pgm 13 okay it will be updated now if you do dsp pgm on ile pgm 13a you can see it is bounded with the module this and this is the service program uh, which is now exporting two sub procedures okay and the if you see the signature 3202 and the signature of the service program is also 3202 so both the signature uh, which is binded to this program or the signature of the service program is now in sync for that service program now you won't get the uh, signature violation error now you can debug I'm 13 a again let's see how it works in debug mode so uh, let's uh, set the breakpoint at line number one once uh, this is yes yeah, sure okay call ile pgm 13a now you will be calling the first uh, sub procedure so you are passing only two parameters shift f10 you can see it goes to else part and it sums the returns the sum and displays the sum again sub procedure one calling with three parameters it goes to if part and uh, it summed up three numbers and it on the sum and it displayed the sum as 30 now if you are calling the sub procedure to uh, with two parameters so it will go to else part and it will sum those two numbers and it will return now you are pass calling that sub procedure to with three parameters it will go to else if part as per the condition and it will return the sum 30 now it will call that sub procedure to with all the four parameters out of those two are optional it will return if it will execute the if part and it will return the sum of four numbers okay and this will end so here you have seen how how you can uh, uh, use the star no pass thing and you can call the sub procedure with different parameters uh, optional parameters you can pass those optional parameters and the things which must be taken care that is this thing uh, uh, that is uh, if any optional parameter is defined then after that all the parameters which are added up in the, that uh, pro sub procedure will be optional will must be optional so you will be getting the errors okay and if you want to call the sub procedure and trying to pass the fourth parameter which is optional then you have to have to pass the third parameter which is optional in case and if you want to pass the third parameter only so you can pass third per parameter and you can skip the fourth one like this okay you can call the with three parameters and you can skip the fourth parameter here but if you want to pass the fourth parameter you need to pass the third parameter also this is the thing with uh, stand no pass so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time